Chicago is one of the best cities, as we all know, when it comes to holiday festivities. And they're all featured in Chicago Star Media's first holiday issue, issue that is, which a few of my media colleagues and I are featured on the cover with this year. We had such a good time, but there is so much to see and do. So where do you begin? Well, here to help us out is columnist Candace Jordan with Chicago Star Media. That was so fun, Candace. And is the Chris yeah. Kindle market, which is one of my favorite things, right? My favorite thing. It's the, it's the definition of Christmas in Chicago, it I think. It truly is, and it's going on now, yeah. but that just skims the surface so much more. So let's take a look, and you're starting us out with the amazing Light Festival. Tell us about that. Yeah. This is a first time event in Rosemont at Impact Field and it's two years in the making. It took 36 trucks to deliver all the decor to the field, almost as much as to my house. And mm -hmm. they have over a million lights. They have tubing for the kids. They have a holiday market, fun food, a candy shop, Santa's workshop where kids can write letters to Santa. They even have train rides on the Arctic Express. And you know, this is gonna be there now through January 2nd. And um, it just sounds like a, such a spectacular thing to do with the family and you could see from the photos how beautiful they look it sounds like something you might want to like register for beforehand is that a requirement uh, you would, it probably is. You probably should go online yeah. and check that out first. Yeah, I'm sorry, I don't have that information. It might I was be just busy. so excited to talk about Yeah, no, that's super cool. Okay, next Randolph Holiday Market, which I saw you're at, right? Yes, I was. Well, you know, I love Sally Schwartz. She's the founder of this fabulous market. It's, it's usually in Plumbers Hall, you know, but now for the first time, it's at Michigan and Pearson, and it's her first holiday market, and it is fabulous. She has over 100 dealers there with fun food and all kinds of novel gifts, vintage treasures. I mean, it's the perfect time to buy your gift giving for the holidays, and it's going to be there uh, next weekend, 11, 12, and 18, 19. So just in time for Christmas buying. And um, you do have to register online for a $10 cover fee, but if you don't want to pay that much money, you can buy um, a unwrapped children's gift that they will donate it to Guardian Homes Charity on your behalf, which I think is wonderful. I love that idea. Okay, and these have been more and more popular every year, and that is some holiday pop-up bars. What have you found? I'm uh, well, I found that they are on fire with these <laughs> pop-up bars. They are everywhere, and I love it. And, you know, Wrigleyville's calling itself Chicago's largest holiday pop-up district, and I believe it. I'm going to tell you just a few of them. And my favorite, Santa Baby Christmas Bar. This is a multi-level Christmas pop-up with wall-to-wall -wall holiday decor. They even have a vintage convertible that's covered in lights. They've got so many opportunities to take photos. And one of my favorite things to do there is to drink cocktails out of those little tiny Santa uh, boots, which I think... <laughs> It's just adorable. Very fun. So festive. Okay. Next, we well, have. Wait, there's more. Oh, there's Let me more. Just mention a couple okay. More. Rudolph's pop up bar, Frosty's, Elfed Up, and there's the city's first Hanukkah themed pop up bar called Eight Crazy Nights at the Greystone Tavern. So there's something for everyone at these pop up bars. Okay. And maybe after having a little cocktail, you want to head and see a little theater. Tell us about that. Well, you know, we've got the Goodman Theaters, a Christmas Carol. We've got the beautiful Joffrey production of the Nutcracker. But this is kind of an irreverent take on the holidays. And you can tell by the production company's name, Hell in a Handbag, mm -hmm. that it's going to be something a little bit different. And um, they're going to bring back their popular musical, The Christmas Dearest is what it's called. And um, the artistic director, David Serta, will return as Joan Crawford. So I think that kind of says enough about that show. And it's going to be at the Ebenezer Lutheran Church Auditorium in the Andersonville neighborhood. So it's now through December 31st. And it sounds like it's something that's yeah, going to that be very like fun for the whole that family. That sounds like a lot of fun. Okay, Six Flags Holiday in the Park. Well, you know, last year they had only a drive through experience because of COVID. But this year, their second year, they're going to have both a drive through and an in-person experience, which I think is fabulous. And this experience has over 3 million twinkling lights. And they're going to bring back certain rides that will be open. There'll be a, another Santa's workshop with a story time for the kids, uh, marshmallows and s'mores roasting beside fire pits. And the in-person experience is now through December 30th. And the drive through experience will last through January 9th. Those are plenty of time to go see it very nice and then we have the jack frost winter village and christmas tree farm tell us about this well, you know, this is really my favorite, and you might remember it from last year. It was also known as Jack's Pumpkin Pop-Up, and it's in the same location in Goose Island, covers two acres. You can see from these photos, there is so much to do there. They have a Christmas tree lot. They have a full-size ice skating rink for the first year, and they also have bumper cars that's also new this year. Holiday-themed food trucks. They even have fortune-telling. Who wouldn't like that? <laughs> so it's... <laughs> 
And I love it. And it's known as the biggest outdoor Christmas event in the heart of Chicago. And it's really one of my favorites. And I know you have visited every one of these places, as I see in this video here. But tell everybody about Chicago Star Media, Candice, and what else they can expect when they uh, well, subscribe. Well, thank you so much. Well, you know, as you mentioned, this is our first holiday issue. We were so privileged to have you and the other media personalities in Chicago on this beautiful cover from Chris Kendall Market. And uh, these uh, events that I mentioned are also included in this month's edition but there's so much more. We have three pages of holiday events. So if you can find it, please check it out. It's all over the city in boxes. It's in buildings, common areas, or you go to our website, chicagostarmedia.com and Very. find all the information. Very good. Candace Jordan, always a pleasure to see you. Happy holidays to you, my friend. Thank you. Same to you, okay. Sylvia. Thank you for having me. Yes, you take care.